Guys, here is my Robben Island chest set. In the spawns here, we've got the likes of Mark Maharaj, Khalima Mklante, Zuma, Tokyo Swale, amongst others. Is that who I think it is? Yes, sure. That's Eugene Terry Blanche falling off his knees. <laughs> Busy falling off his horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is fascinating. To have the struggle heroes from Robin Island and apartheid regime. It was so clever to place them both facing each other on a chessboard. Hello. Hey, Hello. Hi. hi. What do you have for us? I have for you snippets of the life of Jojo. Who is Jojo? Jojo is probably South Africa's most famous cartoon character. It's a rare thing for the actual artist to bring his work into our shop. Ah, pop moment. Oh, hey, hey guys. Pops. There's always a surprise in our shop. And today, in walks a world famous musician, Pops Mohammed. Well, I have with me this thing. It's an imbira. Imbira. Yeah. imbira. And as you see here, these are just normal nails. Is it nails? Nails that have been placed into the fire. And once it's Bent. gone nice, and then they just flatten the notes and to tune it. This ancient instrument has a celebrity story, and it sounds so beautiful, I want it. Morning, guys. Morning. Good morning, morning. What are you selling us today, sir? What I brought you is a piece of the Kruger Millions, a felt point. I'm here to sell my very rare pure gold coin named the Felt Pont. It was made by the Boers at the end of the Anglo-Boer War, and um, I'm quite keen to see what the value of it is and perhaps sell it. The Anglo-Boer War was one of the major events that shaped what South Africa became. And that's why items from that era are so collectible. Well, I'm bringing in today a rare Anglo-Boer War medal. And I say rare because this was awarded to the Indians who fought. How many Indians were, were in, this, in the war? Do you you know? know, I, I actually don't know. The, but the most famous, of course, is Mahatma Gandhi. So, gentlemen, this is why I called you. OK. These are the stretches we were telling you about. This is from Gandhi's regiment from the Boer War. Um, which one did Gandhi touch? Which one did Gandhi operate? We can't be sure of which one he touched. That's mean? why we have these three, because we know they come from the regiments. So one of the three is it? Gandhi, Gandhi himself was around one of these stretches. Just to be close to, to those items that he's, he's been with, it gives me goosebumps. Gandhi is one of the greatest icons of the 20th century. This would look great in the shop, but only if the price is right. I saw two Rugby World Cups on this TV. It's a collectibles item. Is it? Collect dust. No, no, no. <laughs> no, collectible proper. Mm, yeah. How much were you thinking? 100 bucks. 100 bucks? Yo. 150. 150. 50% 50 up in a second. You oh! Yes, you love the dice and run after, but yes, yes, it is the shoe for your vet, it is bring me a vet as dead. What did he say? <laughs> Basically, he said he's not impressed with the 10,000. I'm a not more. negotiating in rooms. There's a myth about these five rent coins with Madiba's face on it being very valuable. That may be true for the first minted batch, but not for the millions made afterwards. And you know what, you came all the way here, yeah? I'll give you 10 rands. That is absolutely ridiculous. It costs 400 rand just to get it graded by NGC. I traded for some goods on the farm and I keep it from the age I was 16 years up to date. It's 45 years ago. How's 2000? No, I think meet me halfway. Halfway where? Five grand, no! <laughs> How's 300? I think you guys uh, must have been smoking your socks last night. No. Damn it! <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I negotiate hard. Sue me. You put your hand here, you get yourself a very, very good deal. Okay, Shared that's it. a great deal. You got yourself a deal. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Sure. Okay, right. let's get you some bucks, come. Okay, well, I sold my savings beer. I uh, felt I could have got a little bit more for it, but these, uh, these blokes are seasoned uh, negotiators. Well, I think they got it for a bargain. But hopefully I won't regret it later, later if I see it's going on auction for a million bucks. <laughs> it was tough in there. They pushed me down. I got less than I wanted. And, you know, 
Let's move on.